Welcome back to Nintendo Play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Future Muscle Spencer, my co-host Matt. I'm playing as very much playing as Fox. We're here live on Twitch.tv slash Gaming TV. Midway through, we'll be doing a best of five. I'm trying to do some melee shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll edge cancel off the platform and then I'll just be a god. Literally, sometimes that's my thought process. Why well, just do it? Be a legend. <laughs> that's why melee is a superior game. How often can you be like. Look how sick I am in this game, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, look what I've done. Fire on my shit too, dumb motherfucker. Those moments don't happen in Ultimate. Yeah. Like, they can happen, and, you know, it's usually when pro players are playing, not really the layman. You really think I wasn't gonna up tilt for a 19th time in a row? <laughs> <laughs> you fool. <laughs> yeah, what was I thinking? Man, it's disappointing. Cause like, like the game could be so good. It could be so good, but yet it is not. Like it could be good. And that's, you know, really the most disappointing part. You might as well just stop trying to four year out of that. Cause I'm never, ever going to try to chase. <laughs> good to know. Sad it's not yet, and it, but it wouldn't have to change that much. It really wouldn't. Get rid of the buffer. Make it so that if you air dodge, you're dead. Oh, fuck. What's weird to me is like most characters have the same buffer, right? They all have the same buffer. So like what's the point of having a buffer if you all have the same buffer? 
Well, there's no like character specific stuff. So if you remove the buffer, there's no like advantage you're losing, but with certain characters or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because like at first I was thinking, oh well, if you remove the buffer, the faster characters will have an advantage. And I was like, if they all have the same buffer, then all you're doing is just speeding up the whole game, like, you know, like all, just everybody, or at least like removing that that limitation from from everybody. Yeah. Evenly. Once this loss, returning to base. You know, like I don't even think they need to change the hit stun or anything like that because you can combo. But the air dodge out of the combo stuff is just absolutely stupid. Enough as well. Also, make Falco good. <laughs> you cowards. You're changing the um, sensitivity to slow has extremely, extremely helped with up smashing. Lets you do smash attacks a little easier out of shit. I don't even know what my sensitivity is at. I forgot that that existed. Probably medium. Probably. Now I can actually like run up smash when like I want to. That was lucky.
Yeah, the buffer ruins the game for me. Yeah. Doesn't ruin the game, it just sucks. It's just bad. It's just like a huge buffer. I was extremely close to dropping, like just not wanting to play ultimate ever again until they added Joker. And then they reeled me back in, but every DLC since then has been pretty awful except for Terry. Terry's cool. Everybody else fucking sucks. I can't fucking DI out of the way. It's so weird, man. Because, like, they have the DI, like, so much less powerful in this, it feels. I don't know if I'm wrong about that, but... It is. There's hardly no smash DI. Like, and then they 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 increase the, the fucking... Um, the... Air dodge, right? To, to like make up for like the bad DI. You know what I mean? It's like they 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 reduce the DI because they're like, well, we don't want people just mashing out everything. And they're like, well, shit. Like then like then they're just gonna get combo to death. Okay, okay. Here's what we do. So to get out of it, we'll give them this like get out of combo free card mm -hmm. called air dodge. <sighs> um. And then they won't have to worry about DI because they can just air dodge out, and that'll that'll create like an in, you know interesting interactions. And I'm like, yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Frank. What a great Thanks, idea. Thanks, Frank Sakurai. Frank son. Is Banjo trash? Banjo is one of the most Fucking. uninspired characters I've ever seen in a video game. In a uh, in a fighting game. As DLC too, like yeah. he's so fucking bland and boring. I deserve that. It's because I tried to run and then I tried to, you know, run away, but then like I was stuck in stick skid. Yeah, it's really cool. But yeah, he's just so boring and uninspired. And honestly, I think it's not even their fault. I think they literally, they, they stuck too close to how he is in the games and that makes him boring he has like one cool move and that's just the grenade thing yeah Shut up, bitch. You won one time. <laughs> also, I feel like the characters, they all play 
a lot of them, I would say about 70% of them, play very similarly. Yeah, the only move that's kind of interesting is the grenade. Yeah. I think the grenade is cool. They just like, he's so bland. All right, but it's a five time. I mean, his side B is okay, but literally everything else. Like, why play Banjo when you can play a better character and get the same exact effect? bad at it's basing on shield you say that for any character though well yeah. i mean but like as a dlc character it's just it's, it's extra yeah it's extra like, like you expect to get a treat and instead you got a grenade some interesting footsies. But yeah, I would say like 70% of the cast plays almost exactly the same. You have like a few archetypes. Yeah, all the archetypes. That's what I mean by that. No, I'm not saying like every, like 70% of the characters play like a sortie. I'm saying like all the sorties. Play like sorties? Yeah. Like, th there's not very much interesting stuff about them. Also, like, almost every sword character has a counter. And then the ones that don't feel like they're missing a counter. <laughs> you know? It's like, we won't give the sword character a counter. Ah, oh, you probably could use a counter. be out of shield. That's where my head's at. <laughs> the move... <laughs> I understand why the first one whiffed, okay? You had landed. All right, maybe you have some intangibility. But the second one went <sighs> right through you. Did you see that? It looked to me like the move missed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I mean, it's just all about frame data. <laughs> that was some of the... <laughs> But it's like, don't talk shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I can take away your frames, your your hitbox. Some of the most ultimate jank I've ever seen. Everything is ultimate in this game, all right, including the jank. Yeah. 
This game, <laughs> this game doesn't have ass anything besides most of the characters and mechanics. I wouldn't even think. You, see, you know what sucks about it is like I feel like some of the mechanics are cool. Um, like in in like when you're just like say you're designing the game and you're like, oh, we should do this, we should do that, you know? But, like, in practice, they, like, mechanic themselves in a couple of corners that I feel like really did not serve the game at all. Yeah. You know I mean? We should make the game more, more accessible by giving them a buffer so that people can't get combo too hard. Oh, now it's, like, incredibly difficult to do anything. <laughs> But if you're matching it, you feel cool. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Even the jank in ultimate. They took away my fair footstool. It's criminal. Oh, that was cool, yeah. You were like really working on that too. You, it's not cool. No, no, that that was cool. The fair footstool. And you were really working on it. Back, bitch. That was incredibly lucky. Yeah. that I could do that. I guess I should say I didn't know I was going to connect. Also, nerf fucking recoveries. Yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Everybody gets to the ledge for free. Some characters get to the ledge super for free. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally... <laughs> yeah. That's the scale. <laughs> there's free, and then there's super free. And then there's teleporting characters. <laughs> Which, there's like a straight up an exploit. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Well, the teleporting isn't that bad. 
No, but like they're much easier to ledge guard than yeah. non teleporting characters. That's what I meant by the exploit. Right. Making sure we're on the same page. And the jumps. That's what happens. Eight recoveries when in this game. Yeah, because there's no like, there's no. There's no there's, drama. There, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's no, no like, oh shit, he's off the ledge, he's dead in melee. No, it's like, okay, he's off the ledge, he has no jump, all right, and he's this specific character, and he's this specific distance away, you know, which means, unlike 90% of the cast, he might not make it back. Or it's like, um, most of the time, they just assume they are making it back. And they're like, all right, can you two-frame? Yeah. All right, now we're doing... All right, can uh, you stand on ledge? What's the ledge thing called in this game? I forget. There's a name for it. Trumping? Ledge no. Trumping. When you... No, it's the... What is it called when you you're like on the ledge? You're on the ledge, and the other person is not on the ledge. Uh, ledge guarding. No. You're on the ledge. Person's other person not on the ledge. Hmm. And Sagar tries to make it sound like recoveries aren't super free. And he's like, oh no, I might not make it back. Oh, I did. Oh, that's, that was a close one. No, there's like a name for it. What the fuck is it called? Now, are both, is like the player who's not on the ledge uh, off stage? Or are they on the stage? They're on the ledge. No, they played not on the ledge. They're near the ledge. What the fuck is it called? Not an advantage state. No, there's like a name. Like, I get that. I'm trying to figure it out, too. It's never close. Everybody gets back. Even Dr. Mario, if you're careful. It's like the little weird rock, paper, scissors that happens. Is he going to roll? Is he going to... That interaction is a name? Yeah. Basically, took the place of edge guarding. I didn't realize they had a special name for that. I mean, I probably, I probably know, but like, I just I'm yeah, we hear it all it. the time. And ledge, not ledge tag. Oh, I thought of that. Ledge trumping? No. Yeah. Well, that's. I'm just reading what the check said. No. Oh. So you're talking about somebody who's recovering. No, they're already on the ledge. Okay. And you have to do the, it's either the jump, the regular get up, the get up attack, that scenario. Yeah, I can't think of anything else besides ledge guarding. But like, I know that's not the name you're looking for, but that's the only thing that just continues to scream in my mind. I'll have to look it up after this episode. It's like one of those where it's like, can he get the blank? Yeah. Hey, 
Yeah, I don't know, man. Weird. Just forget it. It's probably a stupid, dumb name. You don't need to know to screw it all. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts? I mean, you almost brought it back. Yeah. The ledge talk kind of like superseded that last game, I think. For both of us, I don't think either of us were really fully playing attention to what we were doing. We were just playing, trying to figure out what the fuck that thing's called. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel like I played okay. Had some interesting stuff with Jab and all that. Hmm. All right, well, what was even the, the jank is ultimate. Even the jank is ultimate. That'll be the name of the episode. All right, we're going to call this an episode. For those of you on stream, we're not going to fly just yet. We have a timer in the bottom left, so we can turn these into episodes for YouTube. So stick around. We have another episode coming up after this. For those of you on YouTube, check us out live on twitch.tv slash TV, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.